Howdy friends, fellow beer geeks. Welcome to another Craft Beer Geek beer review. I'm Wes, the Craft Beer Geek. And today we're talking about a beer from Blue Point Brewing out of New York. Uh, I was recently contacted by Blue Point Brewing and they wanted me to attend a beer dinner they were having down in Miami. Uh, that's about a five hour drive for me, even though I'm still here in the here in Florida, I'm in the northern part of Florida, so it's quite a quite a long distance to drive. So I wasn't able to make it to the beer dinner, but uh, they got back in touch with me and said they wanted to send me some beer. So they sent did send me a couple of beers, and this is one of their beers that they sent to me. This is their Winter Ale. It says our Winter Ale is a hearty, robust amber ale. We use pale Vienna crystal and chocolate malts to create a balanced character of malt and hops with just the right amount of spice to warm you up during the cooler months. Uh, the ABV on this is 7.7% alcohol by volume, and the IBUs are 22. Uh, and the availability is late fall through winter, and we're just getting into uh, officially winter season now. So wanted to go ahead and get a review up of this up on the channel, let you know what I think of it, and we'll see where it at, where it's at. So let's go ahead and get this winter ale cracked open and see what it is all about. Okay, so the Blue Point Blue Winter Ale poured out a uh, very nice orangish amber color. Uh, had about a half finger head on it when I poured out. Uh, it just dissipated pretty rapidly. Uh, I do see some carbonation streaming up in the glass. Let's see what the aroma is like on the Blue Point Winter Ale. Okay, I'm definitely getting sort of a dried fruit kind of aroma. A lot like a like a raisin aroma on here, a little bit of a spicy aroma, maybe a little bit of ginger in there. Uh, so I'm ready to go ahead and give this one a taste, let you know what I think. If you're drinking along, cheers. Yeah, that's quite nice. Right off the bat, it has just a nice medium mouth feel. Uh, it's not sticky or anything like that. It just has a nice medium body to it. No, not not something the light that's for the summertime, but but not something that's really heavy either. It's not going to really weigh you down. Uh, really nice, a nice body to it. Uh, right up front, you're hit with again a lot of spiciness along with a lot of dark, dried, fruity flavors here. A lot of a lot of raisiny kind of flavors. Some nice bready kind of malty flavors. Yeah, that's a really nice, nice winter ale. It has a lot of the flavors you're looking for in a winter ale. Nice, dark, and rich, and without being too heavy, without being too sweet. It's got some spicy notes. It's got some sort of dried fruit kind of notes. Uh, some dark bready kind of notes. A little bit of a chocolate kind of note there as well. Uh, definitely a great beer to have by itself or would go well with a holiday meal, I think, as well, too. I think they really did a good job with this. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really tasty beer, a really enjoyable winter ale. Uh, if, you're look, if you like more of a spicier, darker, kind of more malty winter ale, I'd say, suggest giving this one a try. It's worth a try. I'm going to give the winter ale from Blue Point Brewing, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, I would drink this again. Uh, maybe not something I would absolutely seek out, but I like it. I enjoy it. It's it's a really good beer. It's, it would, I guess, as I said, it would work really well in multiple situations during the holidays, whether you're just sitting around the campfire, sitting around the TV, enjoying a nice uh, nightcap, or uh, with your holiday meal. It would be great as well. So with that being said, that's going to do it for the review of the Blue Point Brewing Winter Ale. Thank you, Blue Point, for sending this out to me. I appreciate that, and thanks for the invite to the, the dinner. I'm sorry I couldn't make it. I wish, I'm sure it was really good. Uh, maybe they'll do something maybe nearer to me, maybe in Jacksonville or something sometime. That would be great. Thank you for watching this episode of The Craft Beer Geek. I'm Wes, The Craft Beer Geek. If you like this review, you can find lots more at craftbeergeek.com. All my reviews are end up posted there, sorted by brewery as well as by beer style. So if you're looking for a particular review, that's probably the easiest way for you to find it. And I occasionally post other news items and stuff I find in the craft brewing world there. So thanks for watching. Happy New Year. So I leave you with this as always. Please drink responsibly. I don't drink bad beer. You shouldn't either. We'll see you next time. Cheers.